Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Let me welcome you back to this channel. Ensure that you are hitting the subscription button and ensure that you are sharing to those who are concerned. And then today, uh, I would like to welcome you back to this channel and I would also uh, give you an advice of listening to this content up until to the end of the presentation. So this will be our first class on agricultural science is in grade 10. And I know that uh, many of you have been requesting a video, especially for term three. So now we have found uh, the right time and the right element of also uh, producing agricultural sciences. And then we will also be moving on with uh, the chapters that are to follow. So in this case, we are having a grade 10 and this uh, it is a revision content coverage uh, which was presented in term 3 2024 all right so in this case a uh, good people uh, i would like you also to uh, give you a hint of joining the membership so once you have joined the membership it means now you are having better chances of receiving a uh, videos that others cannot view and number two, you are also going to be receiving uh, our notes uh, on your channel of devices or, or your channel of communication. That can be through uh, WhatsApp uh, also. It can also be through on your email address. So that is an advantage of joining the membership. So today we are going just to do an introduction uh, based on uh, this content that we need to understand. So... Uh, this will be a, a short a video in terms of a presenting, but a tune on for other videos to follow. So uh, here we are talking about a, what we call an agroecology. So agroecology, that is the study of what? Of agriculture. That is a, the study of agriculture. And this, we must understand that is a subdivided into a ways uh, that we can also devise in this particular instinct. And then uh, number one, here we've got to understand that the ecology and the uh, agroecology. So what we need also to understand here, uh, based on this aspect, uh, we have to understand the basic concept uh, of that, uh, which we will also be presenting in the videos uh, that are to follow. Number two, you also need uh, the levels of a uh, the ecological organization in terms of uh, its impact and then how are they organized uh, how are they organized number three you also need uh, to understand the components of an ecosystem so remember the weight components it tells us a uh, or it is uh, giving us information uh, based on what is an ecosystem and what does an ecosystem made out of so you need to understand all those elements uh, going on to this uh, particular content of term three. And number two, we have to look at the interactions in the ecosystem. So those uh, things are going to be presented. And then uh, we say that number one, we have to understand the energy flow in the ecosystem. Uh, how does uh, the energy flow from one organism to the other? And then we are saying that is through feeding Number two, we must also understand the nutrient cycling. How does it take place? Uh, how does it take place and what is it? We also need to understand the interactions between uh, organisms. How do they uh, play a role or how do they interact uh, in the uh, where they live in the habitat? And then number three and uh, number four, we must also understand the ecological farming methods that are to be presented in order to make it possible for an ecosystem to take place all right and then moving on we have to understand now the biomes and their characteristics under the biome uh, so remember that uh, in the biome we have a succulent karoo which is one of the biome that we have to understand number two we have to also understand the fame boss where you can see that is represented in the color yellowish then you can just also see on the map that is dissipated the other one you can also go to uh, the grassland which we need to understand uh, very well the namakaru also uh, plays a significant role we are having the savanna 
the forest and the thicket uh, that can uh, be playing a role in that regard. So in this case, we are also uh, told that we need to understand the biomes and their characteristics. The biomes and their character, uh, characteristics. Number two, you also have to give the human impact. What is the human impact on that? Number three, the importance for agriculture. Why is agriculture so important? Uh, we also need to be uh, having a definition also of an agriculture. And then moving on, we are told that we also need to understand the climate and change and the effects of a, the weather phenomenon. In this case, here you are told to uh, list the what the causes of global warming. What is a global warming and what causes global warming? So we need to understand very, very, very clearly. Uh, number two, we also have uh, to understand the impact of climate change on agriculture. Uh, how does climate change affect agriculture in winter? We know that uh, it is too cold. Therefore, uh, the plants uh, or the crops, they uh, don't germinate as fast as in summer. And most of them, they die out because of the cold conditions. So in this case, we talk about the long-term weather, the predictions and the rainfall pattern. So when we are talking about the predictions and the uh, rainfall uh, pattern, uh, we are saying that we may anticipate rain in summer or winter. How uh, can it happen or when exactly can it happen? So moving on, we are having also the short-term climate and the weather prediction. The short-term climate and the weather prediction or the weather forecasting, uh, we need to understand that as well. And then in moving on, we talk about the agricultural adaptation uh, measures to overcome the climate change. So that uh, need to be understood and it needs to uh, be told without any failure. All right. Then in moving on, we are now having a uh, animal studies. So we are having only two uh, subtopics. So number two, we are having the animal studies. In the animal study or under the animal study, we have to understand uh, the subtopic of the importance of the economic value and the classification of farm animals. Number one, we are saying that the development and the domestication of farm animals must be understood. How does uh, they develop? Number two, we have to talk about the economic importance of the livestock industry in SA. How is the livestock uh, taking place uh, in SA, uh, in South Africa? Number three, we have to understand the ruminants and the non-ruminants. So those are having the a complex stomach, uh, are called the ruminants and uh, non-ruminants. They are having uh, the simple or monocrastic stomach. And then moving on, we talk about the cattle breeds. The cattle breed, you have to understand uh, what is the cattle breeding or what does it produce. It produces beef breeds, dairy, such as milk and yogurts, and then the dual purposes uh, breed. So we are seeing something that is dual. There are two purposes uh, that, are, that they produce. Moving on, we talk about the sheep breed. The sheep breed, number one, we are seeing there, breeds based on their utilization. These breeds are based on the what? On the utilization. Number two, the characteristics of a functional ram and ewe, the whole breeds, martin breeds, dual purpose breeds, and the felt or pelt breeds. So those, a eh, we need to understand them very well. Moving on, we have to look and anticipate the gold breeds. Under the gold breeds, we have the general uh, goats, the meat breeds, uh, the milk breeds, and the mohair breeds. Okay. And then going on, we talk about the game animals. So in the game animals, we have to understand the classification of the game animals, the importance of farming. So... Remember that this question can be asked uh, continuously in the examination, list the importance of farming. And then moving on, we talk about the poultry building, uh, breeding. 
So we are saying the poultry, uh, which is a chicken, the type of animal you can see. We say that the broilers uh, can be there, layers, dual purposes, and the basic requirement on successful poultry production. And then moving on, we talk about the pig breeds. Pig breeds, we talk about the classification based on the production purposes. They are classified based on the production purposes. And number two, we have indigenous breeds versus improved breeds. And then moving on, we talk about the horse, donkeys, and the mules. And you need to also understand their classification. Thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for tuning on. Ensure that you are hitting the subscription button and sharing to those who are consent. Thank you very much for your time.